Does your dog bark excessively? I'm going to share five tips which are going to stop and manage your dog to stop barking permanently. So we're talking about excessive barking. Those kinds of barking that you're saying it drives you crazy and it's for no reason. Your dog just barks and doesn't listen to you. There are many reasons why dogs bark and also there are many situations which a dog will bark. But today we're focusing on the ones that it just drives you crazy. So here are my five tips to stop your dog from barking excessively, which is going to help you to stop your dog's barking permanently. So tip number one, prevention is the key. You know your dog better than anybody else. You know that your dog will bark for certain reason, in certain situations, in certain conditions, in certain locations. You know that he's going to bark. So you want to prevent your dog from getting into that environment or situation that is going to bark. So don't put your dog in that situation that is going to bark. So prevent the situation from happening. Tip number two, don't let your dog to practice that unwanted behavior over and over again. Limit your dog's environment and the situation. For example, you know the mailman comes at nine o'clock and your dog goes crazy. So prevent your dog from getting to that zone that it expects the mailman at nine o'clock. So remove it from the front door to somewhere else so it doesn't see or hear the mailman. For example, if your dog is watching outside of the window and checks and sees who comes around and who goes around or waits for anybody to walk by and then starts barking, then prevent your dog from getting to that zone that environment or by the window don't let your dog to watch outside don't come up with excuses that you can't cover the window you can't do anything about it there's always a solution you can hang a low curtain on the bottom of the window so your dog has no access viewing outside you can put your dog in a different room you can also leash your dog and do whatever you're doing if you're in the kitchen your dog could be in the kitchen if you are uh, in the office your dog could be in the, in the office uh, on a leash if your dog is barking at uh, people who are coming as soon as the doorbell goes off and your dog starts barking then we go to the next tip. Tip number three. So this applies to all of the situation. Don't practice or correct your dog when your dog is actually barking, when he's actually misbehaving. This is very important to understand. When your dog is barking or misbehaving, is not the time to correct your dog. It's not the time to train your dog. It's not the time to teach your dog. You want to manage your dog in that moment. If your dog is barking and you're yelling at your dog to stop barking, you're joining your dog, you're barking as well. The reason your dog is barking is because either it's not clear of what it's supposed to do in that situation, or you have not communicated clearly to your dog of what it's supposed to do when certain situations happen. Which brings me to tip number four. Teach your dog a cue for when your dog is doing something wrong. It could be any word, it could be anything. You better word it. You could better ask your dog to listen to you when you're saying something. This word can be anything. Could be stop it, could be no, could be cucumber, could be anything. But you need to have taught this cue to your dog beforehand. Your dog has to be familiar with this cue. So the, your dog knows and thinks when I'm barking or when I'm doing this behavior, when I hear this cue, I gotta stop. Teach your dog or practice what you want your dog to do when he's doing something wrong. And replace that behavior, that unwanted behavior with the behavior that you want. Give your dog a couple of options, one or two options. Either listen to what I'm saying or let's play. So you're giving options to a dog 
to do something other than barking. Which brings me to tip number five. Provide something else for the dog to do. If you don't want your dog to bark, teach it or let it know to do something else instead. For example, you can teach your dog to sit and stay or play on command. So the dog associates, so when I hear this, when I see this, when I feel this, this is what I'm supposed to do. When I hear the doorbell, I sit or I get to play with my dad or mom. Now I have a bonus tip as well. So you need to understand the reason your dog is barking is because in a way your dog is interacting with that situation, with that whatever is happening. It interacts with it. For example, the dog sees a mailman coming, it starts barking, is interacting with the mailman, and then all of a sudden the mailman is gone. So the interaction works. People are passing by the window, I bark, I interact with them, people pass by and they're gone. Interaction stops. The doorbell goes off, I bark, people come in, they play with me, they pet me, I interact with them. So there is some form of interaction happening when the dog is barking. So you need to interact with your dog before, during and after the behavior repeats. You can either shout at your dog or get physical with your dog or you can take that opportunity and teach your dog something that you want it to do. So replace with something that you want your dog to do. I hope these tips are going to help you with your dog who's barking and is driving you crazy. Just follow these five steps and you will have a dog who's going to stop barking or you're going to have an easier time to manage your dog's excessive barking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and comment. How do you correct your dog when it barks? Do you correct your dog when it barks? Do you know why your dog barks? By the way, if you have any dog related questions, leave this question in the comment area and I'll answer them for sure. Until next time, have fun with your dog.